Today's recipe is omelette with onion and bell pepper. Let's get into it. First of all, set a non-stick pan on high heat. I've got here 15 grams of butter. I'm gonna use half now and half when we're adding the eggs. When your butter is melted, you can go in with half diced onion and half diced red bell pepper. Now I'm gonna cook the onion and the bell pepper till to the point the onion starts caramelizing. That's the point when it also gets sweeter. Meanwhile, we're gonna prepare the eggs. And for a regular portion, I've got here three eggs and we're only gonna be adding pepper at this stage. So no salt, we're gonna add the salt later. That's because the omelette kind of curdles when you're adding the salt at the beginning. So we're gonna add the salt later on. Fork and beat the eggs slightly. And I also wanna season a bit the onion and the peppers. So I'm gonna go in with a pinch of pepper and a pinch of salt. When the onion starts getting a bit of color, remove it off the heat. Now, using the same pan, go in with the remaining butter. When the butter is melted, add in the eggs. And it's not gonna take long until you're gonna see a crust forming with the eggs basically solidifying. So it's then when you need to start working your omelet out because otherwise you're gonna overcook it. And you need to make sure also that you have a nice even layer of omelet perfectly cooked all the way around. First it's gonna turn into scrambled eggs and after that it's gonna set even more. And now at this stage, you wanna flatten it into something like an even layer if you can and continue cooking it for just a bit more. Now I'm gonna add the salt at this stage. Obviously the vegetables, the onion and the bell peppers are already seasoned so we don't need too much. And then we're gonna add in, in the center, the onion and the bell peppers. Also get a bit of cheese, not too much. It's quite a lot of filling and it's probably gonna be a bit more complicated this time. And you wanna fold it and just be careful because at this stage it's very fragile. And just slide it off the pan straight into the plate. I really hope that you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.